after you've created the cluster on nodes 1 and 2, the next thing you need to do is create the file share witness that goes along with the majority node set on the hub server. So what we've done is I've logged into the hub server, I've opened up and selected a C drive, you can use any drive that you want, create a new folder, I'll call it FSW, file share witness, and I'll give full rights to the local administrator as well as my cluster service account. So I share it. EX07 was my service account. Now we need to go to node 1. Back on node 1 you should set the majority node set private property attribute to point to the file share we just created on the hub server. So you need to open up a command prompt and type in the following command. Cluster observe majority node set privy MNS file share equals and point it back to the hub server. So basically what you've done is you've set the cluster reserve majority node set privilege uh, Microsoft's file share witness to the Exchange 07 Hubcast server, specifically the FSW file share witness folder that we shared out for our Exchange cluster user as well as the local administrator. So hit enter. You will get a warning that all the properties were stored, but not all changes will take effect until the next time the resource is brought online. Just as shown here, right there. So in order to force all changes to take effect, we will move the cluster group from one node to another, uh, which will take the cluster group offline and then back online again on the second node. To do this, you must type the following command. So here you have cluster group and then the name of the cluster group which was default cluster group in parentheses space slash move. So you're going to move the cluster group from node 1 to node 2. After it's moved successfully you'll see that it has moved to the second node. So now we need to verify that the, pr the private property is set correctly, and this can be done by typing this following command. So here it is, cluster reserve, majority node set, private. Hit enter. And as you can see, it is set to this file share witness folder and all the everything looks good at this point you can close out log off all your machines if you need to uh, the next thing we'll be doing is configuring the transport dumpster on the hub server so your cluster is now functional you can move your cluster back and forth you can move it back to node 1 which I would highly recommend since that is going to be your active exchange mailbox uh, so go ahead and just hit the up arrow a couple of times and move it back to one, verify it, uh, and you'll see a verification similar to this right here, but it'll say node one, and that's it.